Is that Greg? <gasps> oh my gosh! He's just a tall lunar again! Well, this is embarrassing for you, Brain. Oh, he's not even trying. And then you guys should all start aging up. <gasps> Vizza! Welcome back to some more werewolves. Who thought I was going to get to episode 13? <laughs> of this i thought it would be like play it's five do everything with werewolves be done but somehow i find myself a, just very attached to these goofy little furries i don't know i just i kind of get drawn into this series i'm excited for today as well because today we are gonna be aging up these little goofy eggs into teenagers they're all just sleeping now having no idea what they're about to get themselves into there's some parts of werewolves that i'm still not quite on board with such as coming back to you know a whole living room covered in weed like hate that hate that for me that's not what you ever want to come back to but such is life as a werewolf so we've got and he's still got a mark he's still just really got a mark luna out here she's not really rampaging right now she's just standing in the rain which honestly i feel in my soul because i literally just did the same thing it rained for the first time in six weeks where i live and i was just sat on my little chair outside just like oh, this is nice rain this is so nice so yeah i'm kind of oh more we everywhere great i also really want to homeschool the kids but i don't know if any of the homeschooling mods have been updated so that they don't mess with the new high school mod because honestly one thing i really don't want to do is send all three of these guys to high school i feel like they're gonna have like rampages in the middle of the classroom like i already have a high school series i feel like it's gonna be too much let me know what you guys are thinking though and i have been listening to all of your comments about what we do in the future for like hey on i know we were leaning towards vampires but a few of you guys were also interested in the idea of doing spellcasters and then i started reading on the law because i didn't really know what the law about all of this was in sims and it's actually quite interesting so we'll chat about that a little bit in today's episode and this is the worst rampaging i've ever seen you're just is that correct <gasps> oh my gosh doesn't he attack on sight are you guys oh what's happening He's like perpetually angry isn't he he like attacks every werewolf and oh gosh oh what's happening now He's not going to chat with you. He's he's having a full werewolf brawl. How have you got yourself into a random werewolf brawl? Oh, gosh. Oh, but you're turning back to human. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was the perfect timing. You just transformed back into human because your, your rampaging period ended. Is he still going to try and fight you? Look at you just holding the umbrella, like hitting him. Oh, he's such a mean looking wolf. Oh, my gosh. Rain, come protect your wife. She's out here. Rain, wake up. Oh my gosh, get out of bed. He has to defeat Greg in a werewolf brawl. Honestly, I kind of needed more time than this. <gasps> Don't miss significant other for six hours. He is feeling sad about a loss in the family. Like, who has died now? This is the problem. His family tree is like so freaking big, you know? Like, look, someone's gonna die at all times. Someone's gonna be dying no matter what you do. It's just the way of it. It's just the way of it. Oh, and she's having a panic. She's having a full of panic. Now, why is she holding the umbrella like that? Who does that? Luna has been attacked by Greg in the past. He definitely beat her up. Like she, she's not a fighter, really. She's not a great fighter, although she did get strong enough to take down the wolf, the wild fangs, the wolf who's? The wild fangs. And she is now the alpha of them. I still don't want her to take on Greg. So he's here and oh, he looks, he looks so angry. He's like, how dare you come back to my wife after you were so so horrible before literally beat her up he's been waiting for this moment for a while i'm gonna get him to go and transform it's too soon i really wanted more chance to like practice my werewolf brawls but the only thing i've got to do left in lone wolf is to defeat greg in a werewolf brawl so i am gonna give it a go he is very defensive of his family you know very very protective very protective of luna in particular so like he he wants to make out with her he won't want um anyone messing with her and they kind of look like oh quite similar looking wolves as well i would say honestly wait, why is he going back over to luna oh my gosh what is he doing oh he's re okay this is gonna really annoy rain really annoy rain he just keeps going back over to luna yeah he's like oh he's stood in between them both oh wait he's going back over to her again why are you so obsessed with her like literally don't is he gonna attack her oh he wants to attack her no 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 rain come on oh my gosh they're going oh are they going for it they were gonna go for it. Honestly, the only way they actually look any different is... Oh, Rain needs to wait. <laughs> he has, like, the piercing blue eyes. And... Oh, my gosh! He just attacked Luna again! Why is he so vicious to Luna? He literally just hates Luna so much. Oh, my gosh. Imagine just walking up to a guy and then beating his wife up in front of him. Like, literally, what the hell? I hope she beats him up. 
I hope she beats the hell out of him because honestly, he deserves it. And when my wife's finished with you, I'm going to have a fight too. <laughs> That's what's about to happen. He did beat her last time though. She's had a bit of experience since then. <gasps> no, he beat her. <gasps> He managed to beat her. Oh my gosh. Right, Rain, you've got to tear him apart. Oh, she's like all dazed now. Oh no, Luna. Oh, you poor thing. And Rain's like feeling all tense. Like, look, his fight or flight has kicked in. Oh, she's having a little, a little sleep on the floor. Why do werewolves use umbrellas? It's a wolf. Why would a wolf use an umbrella? Is there a way to stop that? I, there probably is. I absolutely hate the umbrellas on the I honestly hate umbrellas anyway because they're just so buggy. But I've, I'm going to try and fight him again. I tried this before, but he literally attacked my wife instead. Why are you just howling at him? Rain, babes, now you're just thinking about your sister. You're not being very intimidating right now. Why are you such a cinnamon roll when you're meant to be vicious, fearsome wolf? Attack him. Maybe it's him that keeps walking away. Maybe because Rain's such a new wolf, he's like, I literally don't even want to waste my time on you. He's given the option to walk away twice. And he's like, okay, if you really want to do this, then, oh, what's going on now? Then we'll do this. But you're a baby wolf and this is literally below my station. This is embarrassing for me. Oh, they're both getting their umbrellas out and open now. Okay, the umbrellas are gone. I'm going to keep my little plumb bob on him. Otherwise, oh. <laughs> Well, this is embarrassing for you, Rain. He's like scumfling around trying to fight and werewolf's like, hit me, bro. Hit me, bro. <laughs> oh, Rain, no. Oh, he's not even trying. Oh, no. I hate when the animations break in this game. It's always oh, fuming angry. He's <gasps> oh, my gosh. He actually won. No freaking way he actually won. How did he actually win that? Oh, <laughs> I don't understand. I feel honestly like you just invited. Look at him staring at him. We've beat Greg. We've beat Greg. I feel like he. Look at this derp. This derp. Like, hello. I feel like Greg was like, I'm not even wasting time with you. I'm just going to dodge out of the way. Dodge, dodge. Your scratches do nothing. But I think he underestimated Rain. Because <laughs> in the last minute, Rain totally just went and tore him and he won. And now Rain is the toughest werewolf on the block. I think he is. I think if they win, by the way, they shouldn't have bandages on them because he won that fight like triumphant he literally won the whole fight and now the beast is beckoning but you did it you've literally completed it what do i get for that what do i get for that who's afraid of the big bad wolf not rain he is the big bad wolf rain has completed the journey of becoming the most independent and fearsome werewolf in moonwood mill what will he accomplish next you freaking did it ah, well done rain you've been good yeah don't be following him now it feels like you're sort of rubbing it in the salt in the wound a little bit and you have wounds of your own maybe hedge hedge your little butts back home guys i'm gonna get uh luna to go and pacify him and oh my gosh look how the wounds lo look when you're human <gasps> wow but you totally won you totally won rain you're the toughest wolf in moonwood mill how does it feel? How does it feel? Where are you guys going? Wait, where are you walking to? No, just, just just do the little pacify thing, please. Okay, let's calm him back down again. Pacify him. Chill him out. And at the same time, do a little somber howl and sort yourself out too. You're both coming home full of bandages and scratch marks and bites, which I feel like Artemis is going to be impressed by. Aruna's going to be a little bit worried by. And Lycaon is going to be like, what the hell this is terrifying <laughs> that would be the progression i would say while the kids head off for their final ooh, beastly growth spurt i was gonna say their final day of school all the kids have headed off actually except artemis she's having a beastly growth spurt and just not why can't i put things in the bins anymore why are all the outside bins so broken now but even if i move it the bin is just it doesn't work i've had this with bins like my last few gens in the save the bins just don't work but yeah she's like i'm not going to school my bones hurt my teeth hurt. I'm not going to school. I hate this. So she ain't going. I feel like in this house, you can definitely get away with not going to school. So that's fine. Do we have any meat in the fridge? We do not. So we're going to have to go on a little hunting expedition. It's a shame we can't bring Artemis yet. I bet she's so desperate to go as well. She's like, mom, look, my teethies have come in and I'm growing real fast. Surely I can go on a hunting spree with you guys. But I feel like Luna is like, once you're a teenager, you can do, okay? And oh my gosh, look at Rain. Look at him. Jeez, Luna and it is summer so i probably shouldn't have this fire on all the time it just looks so cozy that i can't resist oh and the principal is calling yeah let's ignore that so since she's at home all day i you know what i really wish this lot had more at the back 
I wish I could do a backyard. It really bothers me that I can't. What I might do instead is just build some outdoor, like, fun stuff for kids out here. I'll get the swing so that I think you can still use swings when you're a teenager. So that's kind of perfect. Oh, and I just realized I made a warm herself. She can't put the fire out because she's a child. <laughs> Okay, when you guys come back, you can put the fire out. Oh, and it seems the rain really just does not bother her. Okay, but we got some fresh meat. Perfect. Let's get some on the table. And when she's a teenager as well, I feel like rain will be able to like train her on lifting. And she's definitely going to be like the next big bad wolf, I think. Got to keep it in the family now. And do I give rain a new aspiration? I could now. He's completed that one. So there is some more werewolfy ones I could give him. I could give him Cure Seeker, so he'd want to find a cure. I don't know if he'd really feel that, though. There is the whole other clan, which is the community canine. So you join the Moonwood Collective and be a good werewolf ambassador. But I kind of feel like that's a bit more of a Runa's vibe. So I might make him have, like, the big happy family or successful lineage. Maybe successful lineage is a good one, because that's kind of... He came from Not So Very. And that's kind of what Not So Very is. So let's give him that one and I, I have to read oh my gosh he hates reading and he's the only child at home to read to right now also hates reading wait don't they have to be a little kid for me to read to them have i missed this oh i can read it okay let's read lord of the swings to artemis and i feel like whilst he goes looking for children's books that's when he can maybe spot like hidden under like Heon's bed that he's got that vampire tome hasn't he? He is secretly learning about vampires, which he discovered the book last episode. And I don't think anyone in his family is going to be particularly happy about that. But Rain, who's stuck in a door right now, probably the best person to discover that. Okay, so this is nice. He's reading to her because her fangs are hurting. And it's a good distraction if he's reading her a little book. Also, look at his face. Oh my gosh, his face. Maybe it's specifically fighting with Greg that does that. And Luna's feeling a bit tense. She has this looming anxiety. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm actually going to do, is a little bit of house renovations. I basically want a little bit of a uh, roofage over this area here so that she can like work on her woodworking without getting wet. Yeah, often when you're stressed about something, a good distraction is something like, you know, working with your hands, doing something practical. So I'm going to get her to do a little bit of woodworking now. Okay, so I already have Peter Parker's... Peter Barker's First Moon is another kid's book. It has like a wolf on the front. Where is it? I'm just going to buy another because I can't see it. But it's a kid's book. Oh, it was right there. Wow, I'm blind. It's a kid's book specifically for little baby werewolves. So now that the kids are home, I'm going to read this one to like Kayon because we've spotted the other book. And we're going to be like, oh, this one you should definitely like i think i just want to read to you guys and try and get like hey on on like you know the whole werewolf grind a little bit and we'll just see if we can get him interested i love as well that this like hearing about werewolves is like these guys favorite too so they've all come over to listen like i want to hear about peter barker and the werewolves and like they just found it amazing but i don't think it's quite as much of an interesting read for him as a uh, encyclopedia vampirica volume one i think he's finished that is it a reread i'm not sure Sure. But he wants to analyze a book. So once dad's finished with this, we'll go in there and analyze this instead because this is way more interesting. But before we let him go away anywhere, I just want to have like a nice father and son chat. Girls, you guys can go play outside because uh, I want to, oh, I want to mark something. I've got to, oh my gosh, imagine midway through just having to stand up and pee on the floor. Can't you go mark the toilet bowl? That would be the preference here. But yeah, we're going to just have a bit of daddy and son time and just be like, oh, you do know that you know werewolves are way cooler than vampires i don't know what you've heard but oh a little cuddle time you'll always be loved in this family and i know that you're dormant compared to your sisters and you're not experiencing all the same things that they are your mother does know of ways if you did want to join us then you can do but just know you'll always be absolutely perfect just the way you are as well but i am also like pointing out all the downsides of vampires being like if you're a vampire you know you'd never be allowed to go out in the sun again and also you'd have an insatiable urge to like drink blood and you might think raw meat is gross but like you know blood is worse so you know but i'm gonna get him to be like but vampires are pretty cool if you think about it i don't know i think they sound pretty cool but we will try our hardest to put him off i've got to socialize 10 times which is why this is the perfect reason to sit like a on down and have a good chat with him i'm gonna reveal the deep secret to him as well and the deep secret is gonna be i'm gonna give him a little talk and say being like i know that you're interested in them but you should know your mother has fought with vampires 
Yes. And therefore, they are an enemy of this family. So genuinely, I need you to stop this interest. You're going to upset your mother and you're going against everything that we stand for. So please put this interest to bed like Aeon. I will confiscate the book if you continue to read it. So he does want to analyze the book. I'm going to let him analyze his little vampire book, but don't do it. No, you won't. You can't, can't do it in the living room. Can you not just like sit here and analyze it instead? Although dad is sleeping, but your sisters are going to catch you. I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe wait until everybody else is sleeping to do a little bit of analyzing. And I forgot about these moon petals. I just found them in Aruna's inventory. So I'm going to pop those in here. I went digging and found more things left in the inventory. So I thought I would uh, also display all of like the werewolf or floating all of the werewolf memorabilia as well just to you know really drive home the whole werewolf pride thing i think i still have more of these to collect so i should probably get on that i also want to change that sofa i think there's one that came with werewolves yeah there is so let's switch out to these ones not that but that just looks a bit cozier, right? And then this log is actually super cute. It's a love seat. Don't know why I haven't had this before, but let's go ahead and pop this outside the house too. It's got little mushrooms on it. I love it. And I don't know if when you're a kid, if you can even read like werewolf lore. I don't know if it even works. Like we've read the kid's book, but if he read the history of Moonwill, Moonwind Bill, would it like enlighten him at all? I'm going to get him to analyze it first and then we'll give it a read. Because you guys were saying, oh, he would make a good spellcaster. Is this you analyzing it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's still a kid. And that the spellcasters were actually mediators between the werewolves and the vampires. And then I was reading into a little bit more and the law is that the spellcasters were trying to make clones in order to like help them i guess with their spells and not need feeding and drink like we don't need to feed and they don't need to sleep but in doing that they accidentally created the vampires and the vampires attacked the spellcasters and then to try and save the spellcasters some of them like basically underwent a transformation to become werewolves and some of the first werewolves that they ever created came to moonwood mill and they lived here as well and i believe greg was one of those first werewolves greg and also his wife yeah they basically made the werewolves to try and protect the spellcasters from the vampires which they'd also created but they didn't expect the fury side effect which obviously as you know from me playing werewolves kind of controls a large part of their lives so i think whereas greg's wife tried to use the moon there's a telescope named after her she tries to use the moon as a way to control fury and try and understand it a little bit better greg actually liked the fury and kind of used it in order to become stronger, which is, I guess, why he's the meanest werewolf around. But we have defeated him. And oh, bless him. They always forget to feed him. So he's always hungry because he doesn't eat raw meat. They don't even think about that, you know? So yeah, it would be kind of interesting if he became a spellcaster and kind of started to understand where the werewolves came from and also where the vampires came from. And there might be more to discover if Lycaon gives this book another read. I don't think he can have your lunar epiphanies though because he is a dormant wolf. So I don't know if he can. Oh, and I said that they always forget to cook for him. Luna actually cooked grilled cheese and then she didn't eat it. She went in the fridge and got fresh meat instead. So they do think of him, guys. And oh my gosh, stop lighting the fire. Yeah, I'm thinking like, hey, on me instead. I think it'll be interesting in both spellcasters and also in vampires. Maybe he'll have to pick which one he thinks fits him the best. But I do also think if his mother realizes that he's interested in either of these things, the spellcasters, which curse them by creating them, or the vampires, which they have, you know, we have a whole rivalry with, then she might force him to swim in a river and unlock his dormant potential instead. Or maybe not force him to swim in the river, but more just be like, oh, why don't you swim in this river? And then he becomes a werewolf and then he'd have to try and find the cure, wouldn't he? Because that is an uh, aspiration that he can do. And it doesn't really fit any of the other kids. So, you know, it'd probably be like Aeon would be the only one it would fit. So I'm going to let the kids call in off school today so I can age them up. It took me ages to find that because it's listed under business which is just like so weird for, for a kid. And like these guys woken up playful and I think once again, you woke up with tooth pain, but you're okay now, you're okay now. There's fresh meat in the fridge, kids. And like, hey, on this grilled cheese sandwich on the side. And the next thing I've got to do for rain is have a child earn an A in high school. Oh, maybe like, hey, on. And then help a child to homework three times. We literally don't even make them go to school. How are we going to make them get A's and do their homeworks? I don't know. I feel like you would be interested in your homework, actually. So maybe you can do your homework. In fact, I can smash this one out now by actually making all of them 
do the homeworks. <laughs> the first time ever, homework time. No, you have to actually do your homework so I can help you with it. What is what is this pack you guys are doing? I don't know. <gasps> Boom, okay, brilliant. Uh, and then I'm gonna bake a little birthday cake for them. I think Luna's gonna go feral on the birthday. She's looking real red right now. And I always get Rain to cook the birthday cakes because uh, obviously his mom was really good at cooking. Oh, okay, yeah, this is happening. Okay, and the good thing is with the mod I have, I can actually age up. I know there's an iPod in the middle of this cake. <laughs> Try to ignore that. I can actually age up all of the kids at the same time. So that's pretty perfect. So let's get everyone in here. You come in here as well. Oh, you're getting little beastly growth spurts too. And like Aeon, let's get you inside here as well. I managed to calm Luna down. So we'll get these guys in and everyone can celebrate the birthday. And despite her position, they, how am I unnoticed again? How? Okay, boom, we got everybody in. So let's age up children. And we're gonna do Artemis first. And then who is the oldest out of these two? I feel like it's Lycaon next. And then Aruna's the youngest. I'm sure that's the way. I feel like that's the way. Okay, there we go. And then you guys should all start aging up. <gasps> Vaza! So Lycaon is, I've got his screen first. I kind of want to continue him in the knowledge one, but do I make him a master vampire knowledge or a spellcraft and sorcery? Or do I kind of want him to excel at a few different things at once? I feel like he needs to excel at a few things at once and then pick what he wants. So there we go. That's what we'll do for him for now. But if he does get the vampire um, curse, uh, sorry, the wealth curse, then I will switch into the cure one. Um, let's roll, see what we get. I don't feel like he's a party animal. I don't feel like he hates children. He's definitely not a slob like his parents. Paranoid. They feel like danger is around every corner. Okay. I kind of feel like maybe that could work. I mean, he does live in a house full of werewolves as the only mortal, so kind of makes sense. So there we go. Like Heon, we did first. Artemis, who is self-assured. I kind of feel like she will start on the werewolf initiate because she's a werewolf. So we'll get her on that. And probably not a child of the ocean. Probably not a party animal. Probably, is she a green fiend? No, I feel like that would suit Aruna more. Dance machine? No, none of these are really vibing. Active. Oh yeah, I said that she was going to follow in Rain's footsteps with the weights and stuff. So yeah, okay, that's pretty perfect. So you guys have aged up. Interesting how we've got going on here. Which just leaves you, Aruna. Nice. Okay, so. Wow, you got the dress. Okay, great. I'm going to also make you a werewolf initiate and then childish. I kind of like the green fiend one. I think it would be nice to have like a little northern lights over Moonwood Mill. And I kind of like the idea that she's into plants and that kind of thing. So very opposite of werewolf, but it's also like that connection with nature, isn't it? Which I feel like is quite werewolfy. So these guys are all aged up. Let's go ahead and modify them in cast. Look at that dress. Wow. So we will do Artemis first, who still has her little, uh, her little sneer. Here is how she looked as a child. And here is how she looks as a teen. I tried to give her that like Moonwood Mill kind of style. So I've grown her hair out a little bit longer, but I've kept the wavy oh. style. This style I can add dye to as well, which I think is quite nice as a teenager. I don't have the preteen stage anymore as well, which is like super weird. And of course, I've given her the teeth as well. So there she is. Is. She also now has a werewolf form. So this is her beast. Oh my gosh. No. Why does her beast form look like this? What is happening to her? I don't know. <gasps> I kind of see her as having like somewhere in between brown and black. So like she's a mixture of her father and mother. Maybe like something like this. I do want to keep her with the like facial features and like that. I'm not going to change her wolf face. This is just how she's ended up. I want to change her nose color, but sometimes mine's broken. So I don't get like there we go. I was going to say, so I don't get like the color change option, but it's popped up now. So there, she just got a little bit more definition now. I like that it's given her like the cut off the ear with a mark out already. And then the other thing I obviously need to do is give her her tail and stuff. So I keep the girl's legs like this. I find it really hard to color match the tail. Like none of them feel quite right. That's probably the closest. Okay, so there we go. Her eyes are blue. It's given her brown wolf eyes, but they would be blue. So... Oh, annoyingly, I can't change her eye color. I don't know why this is broken, but like it makes her eyes change shape. And I really like the shape they are. 
So I'm just going to keep them brown because I don't like the weird shape it changes them to. Like they look way cuter. Ah, that's so annoying. Okay, so that's Artemis. Let's do both the Wolfies first. Let's do Aruna next. Wow. Okay, Aruna. Okay. So this was her as a kid. And okay, this is her as an adult. I can't get rid of that sneer. It's just stuck on her. But I just thought I'd really lean her into like the girly style that she kind of started to have as a kid. But I thought I'd just go all in and give her this like it's almost like a little gardening dress as well and she's a green fiend so i thought that kind of suited her and yeah the sneer i i can change the lip shape i can do anything like that but the the sneer won't go like the sneer is just stuck there it's really frustrating i don't know why it's the case but her sneer is stuck. I've seen a few other people say that with the werewolves pack, when they age up their sims, there is like a bug where certain facial features get distorted. And it's happened with Aruna, I'm afraid. Now with her wool, I don't, I kind of want to make a pink wolf, but I probably won't. I do kind of want to make hers quite different though. So like different to both her parents because you can you know and i often do make my kids inherit a lot of traits from the parents but sometimes new traits just kind of pop out of nowhere as well so i thought she could get a whole new coat color she even has the sneer on her werewolf form that's so funny i don't know why it does that and she's meant to have purple eyes so maybe i will have to change artemis's eyes too okay there we go so that is her wolfy form so there we go two werewolfies down and one non-werewolfy to go so now we've got like Aeon looking very cool in his sunglasses. As a reminder, this is him as a child. This is him with no CC. I like his nose shape a lot. Okay, and then here he is as an adult. I wanted to keep him like still looking like he was dressed like Moonwood Collective style, but here is like his adult form. I think he's got a really cool nose. I don't know. Like these kind of nose shapes are sometimes hard to make in cast. Like you see, he's got like a really vicious line. Not a vicious line, but like sometimes these like edgy angles are quite hard to do in cast and like you see his eyes have got them too like you kind of only get those from like a uh, crossbreeding i guess <laughs> But yeah, like this little bit, I'd find quite hard to do if I was making a sim. So I like it when they have those kind of features. And yeah, there is like Aeon. He does not have a beast form to complete because of course he is not a beast. So he does not have it. I just realized I forgot to give her the extra big pupils for being a wolf. So let me just give her those real quick. These Pixis ones. There we go. Okay, there. So we now have the teen form of Artemis. She looks so cool. Aruna, she looks so cute and adorable. And like on as well. So let me know what you think of all of those. I did get a pop-up which said that for Aruna and Artemis, they've grown into full-fledged werewolves. They now have a gain a temperament and they have to maintain fury and can also seek out a pack, learn abilities and partake in werewolf life. So that's pretty cool. Of course, like Aeon did not get any of those updates because he is not a werewolf. So we'll get to play with these guys as teens next episode. I will be opting them out of high school. In fact, don't let me forget to do that. Or else they're going to be turning up in my high school series. Okay, so I can turn off follow message for all of these guys. And I will try and get a homeschooling mod in the meantime. So if any of you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I can also already tell I have new interactions between my parents and my teen werewolves. Such as give the werewolf talk. It's a woo-woo talk and the werewolf talk as well. So we'll be giving those a go next episode as well. And thank you to everyone that gave me a reason to read a little bit more about spellcasters because I actually like the law and I don't know what I'm going to do with Lycaon. So you guys can keep sharing your ideas in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show it some... What am I doing? <laughs> please show it some love. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much. Oh, it's, it's like this now, right? This, that one's weird. I'm sorry, that one looks way better. I will see you guys in another episode. Goodbye.